Hello and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. Today I'm going to be trying to replicate uh, an acrylic pour where you use two different colours on a background. Now I've already put the resin on the board here. This is a piece of MDF. The descriptions will be in, in the link. And I've mixed up gold and red with mica. And now I'm double pouring this over the um, resin that is already on the board. Evidently, what I'm trying to do is pour one colour through another colour, but I have a slight tremor and I need to practice this a little bit more because I couldn't get it how I wanted it. So I need to practice and I probably will have a go at this again. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going through the edge again with a little bit of that um, red that's mixed up and I mixed it up how I normally mix it up with all my other um, resins and that is with a little bit of acrylic paint and mica powder but no more than 10% of the volume because if not it can affect how your resin will cure. So I've gone through these now and I'm putting them on in just a random shape. I kind of had the idea of what I wanted to do and what I wanted it to finally look like um, in my head. And these were the shapes that I wanted to create. Now, when I look at this, I, all I actually see at the moment is three really fat, bumpy, golden red caterpillars. And I'm not too uh, happy with this. I don't love it which is a shame. You can see there where my slight tremor come in um, because I've uh, made a wiggly line across there. But we can't let these things stop us. And the more we practice, the better we'll get. And sometimes you can use these uh, little tremors that I have um, to enable me to get different effect. So again, even though I've put those lines in, I do still think that they look very much like uh, three fat caterpillars. And three fat caterpillars is certainly not what I'm looking for. But if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more videos, please hit that subscribe button. I love trying out new things. I love, it. I love experimenting. If you hit the little bell, then it will notify you. I do upload uh, videos twice a week normally um, and when I'm on holiday a lot more. And they're all about me trying, experimenting and having fun. So I'm now going through these colours, uh, this resin, with my heat gun. And I chose these colours specifically for one of my subscribers. She is an absolute lovely lady. So lovely. Um, her name's Cindy Finn. And she has her own Instagram account. So it's well worth checking out. And what I will do is, I will actually put her Instagram account address above here. Uh, so you can check her out because her artwork is lovely. Again, she likes trying things out and having a go at different things. So I'm going through it now with my Black & Decker um, paint stripper. This is what this is. It's not an art and crafts heat gun. I like this because it is shaped of a gun. It does have a trigger on it. And as soon as you let go of that trigger, it will um, give you no heat at all. It doesn't blow it too hard but it does get hot enough to do what you want to do. And it wasn't expensive. So, you know, check it out. But I mean, use what you feel comfortable in using. So I'm just going through now and spreading this out about stopping it looking like uh, little fat caterpillars. And I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased now with how these colors are starting to blend. I like uh, Cindy, I really do like uh, the contrast between the black, the red and the gold. And I do enjoy having uh, the negative space as well. I would say I love it. I do. I love it. So now I've got this far, I still think it's slightly, it's nice. Um, it has... A bit of uh, movement to it and I'm just lifting the board and moving it around because I felt I had too much going on in this as you're looking at the picture in this bottom middle so what I'm now doing is I was moving it around on the board while it, while the resin was still very um, fluid and um, and warm 
So now I've got to this stage, I'm actually giving it a, a good look over and thinking, what can I do to this? So I grab a um, large lollipop stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull through the resin. This is where I'm thinking of where am I going to start? I'm going to pull through the resin and get some movement and some shape to the uh, resin that, that transcends into the um, negative spaces. And this is one of the patterns that I actually quite like. Now, while this resin is still uh, quite fluid, it's going to fill these in anyway. So you're not going to get dents or dints where you've put the line. And as you can see in the left hand corner, looking at the picture, all it's actually doing is pulling these resin colors through the um, the negative spaces. And, and to me, it's just giving that picture a little bit more um, interest maybe let's say now this is nothing like i thought it was going to be as i was trying out a um a normal what you would do with an acrylic pour but i'm not about to waste all these colors and that and i'm sure that you know this goes to show if it doesn't turn out how you like just looking at it and you know moving it about and changing it you can still get a really interesting um picture out of it and i'm not chucking resin away so I am starting to love it a little bit more. And there's me, look, scooping up any resin that's come off that edges because I'm not going to waste that. That went into some moulds and then they'll um, be put into some uh, jewellery. I would, I, that's what I will do with that. I never waste anything. And lollipop sticks are great for picking up excess wet resin. And because I've got a silicon mat underneath this, a quite a decent silicon mat, uh, it's actually designed for pastry. The description and that will be in the uh, the link of be in the description. Uh, it does come up quite easy. So I'm now again spending a bit of time while I'm doing this, looking this over and watching how uh, the movement of the actual uh, resin is is happening with the uh, the the pools that I've just put in it. And what I would say is that now I've got this done, I, I do like it. It almost looks like fish bones or uh, spaced out there. I want to soften it off a little bit as well. So using my lollipop stick, I now go in from, from the edges rather than the centerpiece where I did it for the stripes, uh, or the pull-throughs, and I'm doing some um, almost like little curly pigtails. Again, these will just fill in as the uh, resin is still quite fluid and just give it a much softer pull through effect, which you will see at the end. I'm just going through and I'm trying to keep them uh, even in size as opposed to um, doing some large and some small. So having some form of uniformity to this to this picture and I have bought some new lighting for my studio now as well so these shadows that the, these reflections that you see on resin and resin being very reflective surface is quite difficult to film they are not going to be here see so this is where I converted over to um, the um, new lighting and you are getting the reflection of me in the picture and you know that's inevitable unless i stand right back and record but actually you're not getting those glaring bits so going forward again it's all about getting better so that you can appreciate it so i'm really really quite pleased with how this has started to set it's not cured as we at this moment in time this is just starting to to solidify a bit um i have got it it's quite an even picture and i'm really pleased that it no longer looks like three uh, great big fat caterpillars. So I'm gonna cover this up now with a box to prevent any dust or flies or anything getting on it. And then I will allow that to cure for 12, 24 hours and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm uncovering it. So this is how the picture came out. I'm really pleased with it. I love it. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this as much as you can. I would really appreciate that.
Bye.